This is task three from Stronger. I'm just going to demonstrate some of the exercises you're going to find here. This task is called Let It Go. It's all about pelvic floor release. So you're going to need a massage ball. Sometimes these are hard lacrosse balls, or they could be more of a spiky shape, whichever feels uh, more comfortable for you. And then you're going to start in line on your backs, on a firm surface with a mat, and then you're going to take the ball underneath one bottom. So you can just roll around here and notice if you can feel any superficial soreness underneath that ball. Then you can start to move your leg out and in. Feel that change happen underneath your bottom. Know that your next door neighbours to any tenderness that you feel here, the next door neighbour is your pelvic floor on the inside. So releasing what we find on the outside can have a really good effect all the way through the pelvis. It might be that you need to do some knee hugs and get deeper into the seat to feel that release. Maybe even some twists of that hip whilst the leg is lifted. Whatever you need to do to get into any tension that you feel. Squeezing the knee in, perhaps moving the ball around to anywhere that you feel needs to let go. Spend several minutes on each side here before we move into the stretches. So the first of our stretch is puppy dog. So puppy dog is a really good way to get the tail up and in the air. So with your knees and your hands wide, you're going to bring your forehead down onto the mat. And then you're going to think about your tail at the back, your sit bones either side, and your pubic bone at the front. Those four points you want to move away from one another. Spread your sit bones wide, lift your tailbone high, let your pubic bone come down towards the floor so that your entire seat gets a nice, big and deep stretch. Spend time here thinking about letting go, taking some nice full breaths. Let it all go. And then our final stretch is happy baby. So happy baby. It's very, very similar to puppy dog, but it's in reverse. Really nice place to relax. If you feel more tension on one side, maybe you have cuts or tearing through the perineum on one side, then one side can feel like it needs this more than the other. So you can do single leg. Double leg, you reach between your legs and you hold onto the outside edges of your feet. Then see if you can bring your feet up so you're dropping your shoulders into your hip sockets. Bring your feet apart stretch through your seat and open through your inner thigh. So this can feel much more stretching at the front of your pelvic floor than the back. Notice where it feels it the most. Read through all the reasons why we might need to stretch our pelvic floor even when we think it's weakness and strength is what we need. Often this is the starting point that we need to find our fullest strength. Spend several minutes here so that you can let go before we move on to task four.